Let's turn to weather. A major outbreak of severe weather is possible today in the Deep South and Mid-South. Cities that could be affected include Nashville, Memphis, and my hometown of Little Rock. Gerard Jabali is here to tell us a little bit more. Gerard, what's happening with the forecast? Oh, good morning. This is going to be a uh, dangerous day across these areas, and this is the time of year we can see that. We've already got... Uh, weather really actively going on right now. So we have flood watches in effect all the way from West Virginia to Oklahoma. Severe thunderstorm watches in effect for parts of North Texas, including the Dallas region, which have uh, seen tornado warnings through this morning. This area of thunderstorms is going to continue to track to the east. We could see it fire up, but it's going to be a busy time for the Dallas-Fort Worth metro in the next couple of hours. Now today, this is what we're talking about. 15 million at risk, a level four out of five threats. So this is a bullseye everywhere from Memphis, including near Little Rock, Jackson, Mississippi, not the kind of thing you want to be dealing with. Everyone needs to pay close, close attention. So here's what's going to be happening. As we move through the morning and afternoon, storms are going to refire and they are going to race eastward. When I mean race, I'm talking 50 to 70 miles per hour, They're moving at highway speed a mile a minute. So you've got to be ready to react to the storms today. That severe risk is going to continue to blast through this afternoon, the evening. As you notice, this is going to last quite a good portion of the day before uh, all is said and done. It's going to be, a, a, again, a high tornado threat. The tornadoes will not just be fast moving, possibly, but strong, long lived. That's the kind of language we don't like to use, but that's what we're in for today. Golf ball plus size hail, wind gusts over 60 miles per hour still in this same region. And then on top of that, we also have a flooding threat, flash flood uh, threat on the medium category, a level three out of four threat today, three to five inches of rain falling across these same regions. So even if you're lucky to escape the hail, the damaging winds, hopefully you can escape the tornadoes. Be ready for that. The flooding is going to be fairly widespread today. Gerard, you used the term long lived. Is that, of course, uh, simply to mean that it could last a longer period of time? Yes. When we see most tornadoes lasting a few minutes at a time, these could be lasting much longer than that, a half an hour or more. And these could be cyclical where we could see one be produced. And as soon as that one fizzles out, the next one's already on the ground ready to go. Not the kind of storms we like to track but it's going to be a dangerous day. Gerard Gervaila keeping an eye on that for us. Gerard, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.